Roots and stems are the building blocks of forming new vocabulary words, especially in your non-fiction subjects like science and social studies. Many new terms are derived from these stems, and they're expanded using prefixes and suffixes that are attached to these word cores. Anthro, meaning human being. Anthropology, the study of human beings. And philanthropist, one who is, is uh, giving toward the human being. Art meaning uh, chief or ruler. We have a uh, hierarchy. This would be the highest, the order. Monarch, a single mon, meaning one, one chief or one ruler. Many times we, we think of a king or a queen, royalty as being monarch. Anarchy, and meaning not. So we're having no chief or ruler. It's just chaos. Odd to hear, auditorium, auditory nerve. That, where do you think that is in the human body? All right, so we have cap and sep, to take or receive. Captive, reception. Sid, sis, cut or kill, incision, decide. If you decide something, You've stopped, you've cut it off, you, you're not thinking about it anymore, you've made, your, you've made your choice. So you cut it or you kill it, right? You don't have to have that exercise anymore. Take the term homicide. Here we've got to kill. Uh, chron, meaning time. Chronology, chronological order. Chronic, if you have a chronic disease, you have, it, you have the pain all the time. Uh, synchronize. Let's synchronize our watches so we're, we meet each other at the restaurant exactly at the same time. So cron, synchronize. We've got an uh, idea of time. Uh, clam or claim to cry out. Emancipation proclamation. That was a shout out uh, in, the term, uh, in terms of from this day forward, the slaves will be free and declamation, uh, crack or crat to rule, autocrat. Remember, auto was meaning, meaning self or democracy, democracy. Part of that word is to rule.